Tika model T3. You've probably all seen these. They've been around for a while. They've come out with a new model. It's the T3X. Yeah, that rings a bell. Uh, the new one's quite similar, but it has some changes that are probably notable. Maybe I'll do a video of one of those. But for now, <clears throat> here's the T3. So why am I doing this video? I, I talk to a lot of people who want to know the difference between the Tika T3 and its predecessor, or one of its predecessors, <clears throat> the Model 65. And there was a smaller action um, old model, which was the 55. So Tika 65, Tika 55, also marketed by Ithaca as the LSA 55 and LSA 65. <clears throat> and then Tika came out with the T3, which is quite a departure from the original design. And I just thought I'd run through some of those departures. So you can see, um, this is what a lot of people call a fully modern gun. Uh, the stock is a polymer. There are a few things which a lot of you will already know, but I'll run through them again anyway. I'm not sure if we can focus in on the bolt handle, but the bolt handle is not part of the bolt body. There's quite a clever interrelationship of parts that results in the bolt handle being quite secure um, in the bolt body, but nevertheless, it's not part of the bolt body. So, I mean, theoretically, it's better if the bolt handle is part of the bolt body. By the way, this bolt handle, this is my doing. I bought this aftermarket. There are tons of parts of every kind available for the T3. And for some reason, uh, this caught my eye, and so I just put it on there. But it's easy to take it out, <clears throat> take the bolt apart very um, quickly. And then there's, uh, you just, this, this just, this just slides out. So it's that simple. So uh, not a one-piece bolt. That's one of the things that, that is quite different uh, compared to the um, Model 55 and Model 65. Uh, these are forged bolts. <clears throat> the bolt handle is, is part of the bolt. And um, so you could pound on this and it's, it's, it's never gonna break off. Uh, other than that, it's an entirely conventional and I have to say remarkably smooth working rifle. I think they've sold train loads of these guns. Initially, they were very inexpensive. The barrel quality is excellent. I've never heard anybody criticize the accuracy, which is probably the most compelling thing about any firearm. So altogether, when you compare this model or these models, the 65 and the 55 to the T3, you're talking about how an objective is accomplished. This was accomplished with steel and walnut. This is accomplished with some polymers, including the bolt shroud, the magazine. It works wonderfully, by the way, but it's plastic. I don't know whether they drive cars over these to show how strong they are. Maybe they do. Um, but anyway, you've got a plastic magazine. Everything works smoothly. Actually, it's remarkable. Um, the bolt is exceptionally smooth, which a lot of people like. Um, that's a good thing. And uh, the trigger is good, breaks clean, yeah, no issues there. And um, the action does, act does not actually have a recoil lug. The recoil lug is sitting in the stock. I wanted to take apart the stock for you, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it together and you can picture a recoil lug in the stock and a groove in the action. So when you bed the barreled action into the stock, uh, the recoil is absorbed by, by a, what is, I believe, an aluminum block, at which I think is one of the changes on the T3X. It is now a steel block. Uh, so presumably either customers didn't like the aluminum or there was a problem with the aluminum distorting. Um, there were a lot of aftermarket parts, including uh, bolt uh, shrouds that were made uh, by you know, a variety of manufacturers out of aluminum. Uh, bolt release where you would expect it. It's easy to take apart. It's easy to maintain Just like that and uh, Simple and straightforward now we go to this gun <clears throat> model 65 I Have to say it has an entirely different feel to it. Uh, this is not a plastic and um, 
let's say, modern uh, rifle. This is more of a traditional hunting rifle. I, I obviously maybe prefer the 65 and the 55. They stopped making them. Same reason you're going to hear a whole bunch of times on this channel. They were too expensive to make. I should rewind a little bit and point out one thing. This ejection port is pretty small. And it's even happened to me where if I need to get in here for some reason, that's pretty close quarters or tight quarters. And they've changed that on the newer model. This is now bigger. As opposed to the original, the 65 and the 55, you can see there is just no issue with access. If there's something going on, you know, either a tough extraction or some dirt gets in here, uh, you can sort that out quickly. Other things I like, the walnut stock, but you can buy aftermarket polymer, you can buy aftermarket laminated, whatever you like. Uh, accuracy, I doubt someone would say one is more accurate than the other. Probably they use similar technology for rifling. Uh, great barrels. Actually, people take off these barrels to change calibers and and they still get a good dollar for the for the takeoff barrel on the aftermarket uh, used. I've even purchased some of those. Uh, bolt removal is this button. I won't bother taking it out. Same position as on the T3. This is a plastic button. Uh, the action is steel. Um, and this is... I... I don't think there's anything but steel on this gun. I would have to look. Yeah, no, it's all steel. And um, magazine removal, simple. Uh, the magazine is all steel. You, and, and these, there seems to be sort of a market for these. Uh, they're hard to find. And they seem to change hands for like $200 for these steel magazines. There's something, I don't know, there's something nice about the way they feel. I guess they're cold and, and solid. Um, very easy gun to work with. Hopefully I can prove that by getting this in here without trouble. There we go. And uh, I should demonstrate the trigger again. It's like a glass rod breaking. Perfect. And that is probably all I need to say about these two guns. Um, what would I recommend? I mean, if you like a fully modern kind of black plastic um, and steel gun, then the T3. But I think if you're a traditionalist and you're looking for something, it'll probably go up in value as time goes by. I'd have to say the 65 or it's um, a little brother. The 55 is the way to go. So thanks for watching.